I hope you are having a great day. I'm doing good, lovely out, and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about our sequencing. We worked on it a lot last week um, with our little cards, and I thought we could talk about um, sequencing the order of our days. Hmm. So I thought I could draw some pictures for you guys. Let's check them out. Can you guys see what that says? That says morning. There's the lake and the mountains. And look at the sun is coming up. And this word right here says morning. And here's a picture. Oh, that doesn't look like morning. To me, that looks like it's nighttime. And look, people are in the house having dinner and it's dark out and the moon is out. So what do you think that time is? That's night time. Down here, here's our lake again and the mountains and the moon and some stars and this says night. Over here, what's going on here? That looks like someone's waking up in out of bed, huh? Look at the sun is coming up. And they're stretching and their hair's all messy. And it says, good morning. And here, oh, what's going on in this picture? So we have our lake and the mountains. And look at the sun, it's up really high in the sky. This one says, noon. One last picture. What's going on here? Hey, that looks familiar, huh? There's the mountains. The sun is up really high. Someone's on a kayak. And someone's laying on the sand with their shovel and pail. So, I have all six of those pictures. And I'm wondering if you guys could help me put our day in order. So what's our first thing in the day? How does the day start? Does it start with the sun up super, super high? Nope. I think it's this one, morning. So the sun is just starting to rise. So that's morning. That's the first thing that happens in our day. And then what happens? That's right. The sun starts going higher and higher, and it turns to noon. So we have morning, noon, and then what's the last thing? That's right, night. There we go. So we have in the morning, the sun is coming up, noon, the sun is up really high in the sky, and it's really hot out. And night, that's when the sun sets and the moon rises. Now, I have a fun question for you guys. What do we do in the morning? Do we just, are we at the beach first thing in the morning? Well, sometimes, but what do we have to do first? We eat dinner before we wake up. No, that's not right. We get out of bed. So in the morning, we wake up. Good morning. And then in the afternoon, what do we do sometimes? That's right, sometimes we play, whether it's at the beach or at home. So there's our noon activity. And at nighttime, what do we do with our family? We're at home. The moon is up. It's getting dark. That's right. We have dinner. Nighttime activity. So the way our day goes, we go morning, noon, and night. What do you guys think? 
Do you guys like my pictures? I had fun drawing them for you guys. <laughs> I'm wondering if you guys could draw me a picture of what you guys do in the morning. What do you do at in the noontime, noon? And what do you do at nighttime? It might be different than what I do. I would love to see some pictures of what you guys do. Check it out, right? Okay, we're going to move over to a fun activity that I had set up for you guys. And it's all about paper boats and boats. Let's see. What do we have here? We have a bucket of water and then a whole bunch of pieces of paper folded up. But first, let's check this book out. This book is called Boats by Ken Robbins. Did you know there are so many different kind of boats? Let's check it out. Let's see. Boats. That looks like a big tugboat, huh? Oh, sometimes we see those on the beach in Tahaha. The canoe, that's called a canoe. The canoe was the first type of boat ever built. Canoes still look like the ones American Indians built long ago out of wood and bark. They're long and narrow. They can hold a few people and are light enough to carry. Have you guys ever been on a canoe? Oh, how about this one? A rowboat. He has this little doggy, huh? A rowboat is another small boat. Rowers sit facing backwards and pull on the oars to make the boat go forward. So he's looking this way, but the boat's actually going that way, and he's pulling the oars. These are the oars. Pretty cool, huh? This is a racing shell. A racing shell is a kind of rowboat that is built for speed. They can go super fast on that boat. Do you guys ever see these on the lake or maybe the ocean? That's a sailboat. <clears throat> Sailboats come in many shapes and sizes, but they all have one thing in common. What do you think it is? This one has it. They all have a sail. And the sail helps the boat move through the water with wind power. Pretty cool, huh? Ooh. This is like what pirates sail on in the ocean, huh? These are called a tall ship. And the wind would hit these big, all these sails and make the boat go. Oh, we see these on Lake Tahoe, huh? This is a motorboat. <clears throat> Why do you think it's called a motorboat? That's right, because of the engine. The engine helps push the boat along the water. This is a fancy boat. It's called a yacht. Downstairs, there's sometimes a little room or a kitchen, a potty. People just go on them to cruise, check things out. This is a houseboat. It's like a house on water. Sometimes people live on them or they just go on vacation on them. Pretty fun, huh? This is called a ferry boat. And a ferry boat helps get cars across a body of water. And so you drive your car onto the boat. See, there's a car. And the ferry takes you across the water and then you drive off and you're back on land. This is a tugboat. And the tugboat are little boats that help pull big, huge tankers. 
in and out of harbors when they have to shut their motors off and drive slowly. Oh, sometimes we see these on Lake Tahoe. This is a fishing boat. And their job is to go out deep into the lake or the ocean so the fishermen can fish and get lots of yummy fish to eat. This is an icebreaker. It's also a working boat. It's round and very heavy. When the water freezes, it's the icebreaker's job to push the ice away so other boats can travel. <laughs> oh, that's a freighter. Those big boats would come to Hawaii a lot and they would be carrying a lot of different cargo, food, clothes, building materials. Pretty cool, huh? This one is a tanker. Um, it also carries cargo, like the freighter, but the cargo is liquid. It can be gasoline, chemicals, all different things. All different types of liquid. Let's look at a couple more. Oh, this one's cool. This is an aircraft carrier. These are out in the ocean. Can you see them? Airplanes can land and take off. So the Air Force and the Navy will use those. Pretty cool, huh? So the reason we are talking about boats is to, they float, right? So I thought our fun experiment could be, we can try to make a paper boat. What do you think? Your parents can, if you ask your parents, they can go on YouTube and they can Google, check it out to see how to make a paper boat. But I'm gonna, back to our experiment, my little scientist, we, are going to see if our paper boat will float or sink. What do you guys think? Hmm, what is your hypothesis? Float? I think so. I think it's gonna float and then eventually sink because the paper is going to absorb a bunch of water. So let's check it out. Look at it's floating. So far so good, huh? So we'll leave that floating for a little bit and we'll go back and sing a song and then we'll come back and check on it later on in the day in afternoon circle. Okay? Okay. Let's come back over here and I found a fun song we can sing together. Okay, so it's called I'm a Little Fishy, and it's sung like I'm a little teapot, but all about a fishy. So it goes, I'm a little fishy, watch me swim. Here is my tail, here is my fins. When I want to have some fun with my friends, I wiggle myself and dive right in. Should we try it again? Okay. I'm a little fishy, watch me swim. Here is my tail, here is my fins. When I want to have some fun with my friends, I wiggle myself and dive right in. <laughs> okay guys, I will see you in just a little bit for Afternoon Circle. Okay. Have a great one. Look to your parents to see what you can do 